Hi Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for, I'm making it for the month of October. Um, and since I was late, now I'm not late because now I'm early. <laughs> so um, my apologies for this reading getting up so late. I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. I know some of you have watched some of my videos and you saw my intros, my intro video in my featured section. Um, the reason why I've been so late is I have been working with using this app. Um, it's called Instant Go. And what it is is, and I'll show it to you. Hopefully it will focus. <laughs> anyway, so it's only for iOS users. So for those of you who have the um, App Store, you can download this. It's called Instant Go, and my name is Moon Pie Tarot. And it is, the address for my, to connect with me is instantgo.com slash moonpytarot. So what you do is you um, add me on, uh, download the app and then look for me. And you will be able to, here we go. You will be able to ask me a question. If you have any kind of um, love question or anything that you need to know, you can just text me and I can answer back with you within 24 hours. And if you wish to get more information instead of just one question, we can go into a chat and we can keep chatting about it. And I can just, I keep my cards on me. So wherever I go, and this app is great because number one, you don't have to wait a week for me to get back to you. I know some of you are very patient and I'm so appreciative of that. And others of you are just like, no, no, I want it now. So for those of you who want it now, this is the way to go. I keep my cards on me all the time. I'm always on the go and out and about. So I will pull cards right on the spot for you. Um, and I, I, I will definitely try to get back to you instantly. But be, now I'm getting more people and a lot of the people I have are asking me repeat questions. So I kind of like, you know, there's going to be moments where I won't be able to respond right away. So I give it at least 24 hours. Okay, so go ahead and look for me on this app. Hopefully it will be out for um, Android soon. And I believe they're expanding so all over the world so definitely more availability is great okay so let's get started with your reading so this is for capricorn sun moon rising and venus okay and this is for love and for those of you who are single but if you wish to have a personal more intense reading and you're okay with waiting just go to moonpytarot.com and you can book it there okay so you have the sun in reverse Basically speaking, this is still a good card, okay? The sun is the sun, whether, it, whether it's going down and there's not a tremendous amount of light, that would be the position that this would be in, either dusk or dawn, but the sun is still shining. There's still warmth, okay? So the overall energy that's happening in your love life is mm, things are cooling off a little bit now. You may feel like, you may start to feel the energy of either the sun starting to come up on your love life improvement or the sun starting to set so it really just depends on your situation and you know you can leave me a comment let me know if if you are feeling any of that but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it it's it's still positive either way it, it's like when the sun is in the upright it, this is like noon it's between noon and three it's shining its brightest okay um so in the reverse, it's kind of like, it really just depends on how, how you look at the situation and what's going on. I'm gonna just pretty much say this time period for October will be lukewarm. That's how I feel. All right, so your past position is the 10 of swords in the reverse. So you may have come from a situation where you were stabbed in the back by anybody and now healing has taken place. It may have happened last month uh, going into October or sometime in the past where you've been in healing mode, you know, um, there's forgiveness, perhaps some of you have forgiven someone in the past who has hurt you or, um, or someone forgave you for any past wrongs. And I do feel like in the near future or in the future coming up, for October, maybe in a couple of weeks, you'll start receiving some messages from someone. I'm looking to see 
Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Um, some of you, you may receive a message that someone new in your life has a crush on you. It's cute, right? A crush. Either they have a crush or they like you. Okay, this person could be, I actually feel like this could, this person could be younger than you, but they could be older because the Queen of Wands is here. Or it could just be you, that you have like a crush on someone. You may reach out to somebody. Or maybe you're reaching out to someone from the past where the situation has healed. And now there's like new communication or expressing yourself. Or the, the Page of Wands is, is always about like having a free spirit, being energized, someone that you can go and do things with, or someone that you're, there's like a playful energy to this card, but it's also about messages. Now the challenge in the reverse is the Ace of Pentacles. So kind of like I feel like there might be some message coming to you from someone that they want to do something with you or, you know, if you've let go of a past relationship and you've healed, now you have a new beginning happening here with another person where something begins to develop, but it's not quite going to get off the ground just yet so it could be you know making plans or at least feeling like either they or you want to try to make plans together but it's maybe just discussion about that and the ace of pentacles in the reverse this is always a card about you know possibly it's in the challenge position possibly those ideas or thoughts about doing something together don't really hold up they kind of fall through during this first week okay um could have something to do with someone you meet at work okay but it's just during perhaps this first week first 10 days of october where there's some type of an idea where either someone likes you and they want to they want to hook up or they want to meet up or someone you meet at work but it doesn't quite get off the ground because perhaps it's a work situation but you know, you're in this place now where, you know, what drives you in your love life is security, looking for security, looking for that happy family. This is what you want. And even if you um, are still involved with someone and there was betrayal in the past, there's like this newfound energy between you and this other person where, you know, that forgiveness has led to a light, a lightness between the two of you. Okay, where there's expressions of admiration and adoration back and forth to each other. And it could have something to do with some of you who are already married. Or, or it's like a healing of a marriage is what I feel like. Or a healing of a relationship. I don't remember what your reading was for last month. But there's some type, something is going if you're a male this could be you searching for this security or trying to have this also financial security as well now what's on your what's on your mind about this situation if i can pick it up is the six of wands in the reverse so this energy is just really coming through is that there's you you or the other person, whoever's trying to, whoever begins to maybe express themselves and the situation not really getting up the ground or taking off just yet, it could have something to do with a lack of confidence. It could be another person who's lacking confidence to approach you or lacking confidence to really um, make it firm. You know, like they could, they could just have the ideas or the concepts in their head that they want to reach out to you and single or with the, another person that they want to reach out to you and try to make something more stable and grounded either again or in, to start new but they they or you are lacking the confidence to really do this just right now okay something i'm actually going to pull a card and see what makes them What's making them, what's holding them back? Why are they, why are they lacking the confidence in this? Oh, okay, because they've been hurt in the past and 
they're fearful, they're paranoid that maybe you won't accept them or you won't go in the direction that they want to go in. Like if they reach out to you and tell you how they feel or they express something to you, you might take it wrong, that kind of thing. And that's really why their energy, like what's in their thought process. And it could also be you where maybe you want to reach out to another person, express how you feel, but you're lacking the confidence because of a past heart hurt. Maybe you forgave someone, but you've moved on. And now there's an opportunity for a new love to come through or something new because the ace of pentacles can even though it's not a cup card can also be about a new beginning in love as well but a more stable relationship or to have that but i feel like everything's going to eventually work out because your near future here you have the two of wands so this is two people actually getting together and making those plans and putting things into place and if you look I'm sorry that it's blurry. If you look, you can see this person is looking back. Oh, gosh, I can't pick anything up. I need like razor blades. Urgh. This person is looking back on the relationship or looking back on the first week or two or the first 10 days and saying, you know what? We, we can put this into motion, actually. Now they have the confidence now they have the courage to move forward and with the three of cups this is like you, this could be someone that you're involved with in a situation where they start dating that kind of thing and now they may even decide to approach you in a situation where there are other people and maybe that's what will give them the confidence to go ahead and make the plans or to go ahead and approach you the um so it could be people at work or if like you're in some type of a community event or anything where there are other people so all that pressure or it could just be like you go out as friends and then they just kind of give you the vibe or the energy or they say something like hey uh, do you want to go skiing or hey do you want to go to the movies and they just maybe ask you to do something they just start making plans to do something with you and that kind of like opens things up and you are you know in this place now where you're letting go of anything you, it's like you, you you're not you're not feeling this possessive energy anymore you're not holding on so tight anymore to things you're just kind of like letting it be whatever will be will be and it's great it's great, especially if you've let go of something and you were hoping to have something new come into your life. Like right here, I don't see someone new, but I do feel like there's another person here. Um, you may not even realize that this person has an interest in you, okay? And, and they may have developed an interest in you because you let go of something from the past or they find out that you're free or they find out that you've been single, you know, and you're not really holding on to things too much and this person can be a fire sign right Sagittarius Leo or Aries and this is in the upright this could be for you males this could be a female that's watching you and seeing how you are and also seeing that you take on the energy of being someone who's sharp but warm and vibrant and loving and she's like the queen of her kingdom very independent and she takes care of her life and she takes care of her kitty cat and her pets and you know she holds on to the sunflower here she maybe she likes to garden you know or maybe she's involved in some type maybe you both work in something that has to do with plants or horticulture or something like that you know but she's they're viewing you as someone who's just very warm and determined and this person also, if it's not you they're viewing, this is their energy as well. And especially if you're a female, this could be another male. This could be a male in your life, okay? This is a very general reading, so I just kind of go back and forth with that. Personal reading, if this was personal, this would be a female. But there is someone that's significant in your environment, and this could be them. And so even if they don't have um, fire, if their sun sign's not fire, it could be rising, it could be moon, it could be somewhere, they could be fire dominant in their chart somewhere as well. Now, in the position of your hopes and fears, you know, you, you could be, maybe some of you might know about this person and know that they're interested in you. 
if you're single or if you're out of a relationship or if this is someone that you're currently dealing with who you know you're just trying to get the relationship back or they're trying to there's been healing and they're trying to bring the relationship back okay but they're not sure how you're going to take it so there is a, a fear of delay either from this person or from you or, or a fear of indecision or a fear of making a decision okay but then you know your hope is that and this doesn't have anything to do with this position but your hope is that they won't delay and that they will move forward and they will make a move okay even if this is like your spouse and there were issues in the past maybe there was you know maybe there was infidelity or something that may have happened in the past that you forgave them for and now you want change and maybe they're fearful of making change but there's a lot of supportive energy here okay maybe there's some type of group therapy that you and your spouse have gone to to try to overcome issues or marriage therapy or counseling or something like that now there's progress and change but you're needing to see it so your outcome position you have the star in the reverse so this is like you know you you do have your faith still um i i never um i, I don't feel like this card really represents like faith no faith i don't believe that at all i believe that when the when when like for example this card shows up there's still faith but it's really just a matter of uh, struggling to hold on to that okay there could be a bit of despair there could be a little bit of a lack of faith or feeling a little bit discouraged and maybe this energy of you know uh, uh feeling like there's it's it, there's a lot of pressure on your plate you know there are a lot of there's a lot on your plate with this relationship at the same time it's really strange how it comes out i but i do feel like in some way you will want to avoid uh any problems either with someone that you are reconciling with or some or someone that you're still with you want to avoid going down you may not put all your faith back into them if they're trying to prove to you it's lukewarm it's still there but it's not there fully so just for this time period it's kind of like a building process i feel like this person wants to make plans or make a future with you or try to get something either back or get something off the ground but there's just a you know it's like the beginning processes of you know it's working through it you know when you eat your dinner you've got you know your your carbs and your 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 proteins and you know you don't just scoop the whole thing up shove it in your mouth and then you're done you take you you eat it bit by bit and that's how i feel like the energy of this relationship or this situation it's a, it's like growing a growing situation and it's going to take time so try not to have your expectations you know accept that there's going to be delays in the healing or the delays in the progress of rebuilding or starting something new okay allow it to unfold naturally speaking of which i'm going to pull an oracle card for you to see um, if there's any other messages that you need to know to help you through this process and this one wants to come out Oh, gosh, Sagittarius just got this too. Express your love. So some of you may be involved with the Sagittarius. Go listen to their reading if you're a Capricorn because you both have the same card. And if you're not, this card means, you know, and as I said in Sagittarius's reading, continue on expressing how you feel, continually expressing your love. Don't stop doing that, okay? Because love is, we give it's not we don't give in order to receive and if we don't receive we stop giving of course you have to have boundaries and you have to you know of course if someone isn't treating you well someone could love you and still not be treating you well and i know that's kind of an oxymoron but you know if you take someone that for instance has another responsibility they do love you and they do their best to express their love to you but it may not be up to your up to par for you i always say for people um, keep your expectations low of other people there will be times when people are able to give you their all and there will be times when people will not be able to give you your all it doesn't mean they don't love you you know so 
you and the other person, or even if you're single and this is someone new coming in, if this is someone new coming in, please don't text them 25 day, times a day saying how much you love them because they're just going to run away, you know, and, 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 and if you're with someone for 25 years, I don't think you should do that either. You know, expressing your love is really just about, uh, showing it love is a verb so you know in whatever ways you can express your love and you may have someone that doesn't verbally express their love maybe they do things for you to show you they care okay so don't stop being who you are whether you are healing in a relationship and you're thinking and there's a possibility to rebuild a past relationship, keep being the loving person you are. And if there's someone new coming in, coming in, don't necessarily express your love to them in order to get them to stay. Just be who you are. Be that loving self, loving person that you are. Okay, I'm going to end your reading. So again, guys, please check out the Instant Go app. I will be able to get back to you right away if you if you follow me on here and you add to, add this to me, add me to your. Um, to the app. I can't talk today. Okay. And I hate that it's so blurry. Oh my gosh. Definitely. And if not, of course, you can go to moonpytarot.com again and get a personal reading from me. Okay. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful October and I will see you in November. All right. Bye.